How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkin and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Now we got our fan back up and it is time to continue exploring the cave. I also picked up that new piece of armor for him. The steel armor because it's got massive physical defense. So his physical defense is now at 788 so that's improving. It's improving. I'm not going to say it's great but it's improving. Alright we're going to check further into this cave and see what's up. Looks like there's a note here. Magisters. Be under no illusion. Quick work is imperative to our success. The Lady Gallus commands no less for this important dig. Okay, what are you digging for exactly? Looks like there's malachite around. Are you digging for malachite? Canary. That's not a canary, it's a fucking chicken. Ah, oh, great. Martyred monk. Aww. Poor canary. Alright, well we've got no purging wand. Can I just throw a fireball at him? Will that work? Is that oh boy. It is a shrieker. Yes it is. Alright, well we've got no way to deal with the shrieker. Guess we're not gonna be exploring this cave any further, unfortunately. So, I guess we're going to be going back now and seeing where else we can find, unless we can get around this way. Looks like we might. We can't all teleport though. Actually, we pretty much... Except Losa. Losa can't teleport. Everyone else can. I didn't ask you to go over there, moron. I asked you to go over here. Ifan, why are you over there? What is wrong with you? Is that death fog? It looks like death fog. Yeah, there's no way to get Losa over there because she can't teleport herself. You can teleport Ifan though, seeing he's too useless to do it himself. Alright, let's check it out. Did they actually get her through too? It did. Okay. Awesome. Well, this is the tablet. This looks similar. The towering relic seems to hum with esoteric energy, faintly pulsating in time with the beat of your heart. You feel it's drawing you closer, yearning for your touch, hungering for your source. I don't have any sauce on me. Reach out and lay your palms upon the stone. As your fingertips press the warm stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. The relic seeks your power, yet you have none to give. The stone warms and warms until it is suddenly too hot to touch, forcing you to remove your hands and step back. I remember an artifact just like this at an antiques dealer in Mezd. Small world. All right, Lucy, you've got sauce. You try. The towering relic seems to hum with as your palms press into the warm stone. You feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic. Yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power. A different power. The stone warms and warms until it is suddenly too hot to touch, forcing you to remove your hands and step back. Eternal armor could be very useful. Very useful indeed. Armor of the Eternals. What is that exactly? Because it sounds fucking awesome. Is it an ability? Or what? Because I don't see actual armor. Is it on you? I don't... I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what just happened. What just what just happened? Uh, let's check our quest log real quick here. Uh, what do we got? Gwydion is dead. No way out. The Magister dead. The man is dead. Everybody's dead. Cool. Counting your chickens. Man and his dog, what do we got? A cabin beneath Black Pit region. While bidding us to retrieve a particular tablet for him. 
So it wasn't that one, apparently. Dark dealings in the black pits? The tablet that Riker seeks must be around here somewhere. We've obtained Jonathan's ring. Oh, that's Gareth. Okay. Well, I don't know what that just did, but whatever. Let's keep looking. Apparently that did something. I'm not sure how we're going to get back over, to be honest. Uh, Sabeel. Not Sabeel. Losa. Teleport. Irfan. This time teleport and do it properly. Sabeel. Alright, Losa. Looks like you're going to have to stay behind temporarily. What's this? It looks like we can't get around this fucking thing. But we're going to have to leave a few people behind to do it. Which is unfortunate. Alright, Ifan, go check this out. What have we got here? Official memo. And a dead worker. With a key! Alright, what does the memo say? It came to my attention the workers have been slacking off. This is unacceptable. The pace must be increased if we're to satisfy Lady Dallas's bidding. Do not make me bring painful incentive into the equation. Raymond. Uh, Raymond. Asshole. The midnight oil. Been under pressure from Dallas to pick up their pace. And there's another key. Nice. Can we get over there? No. Wonder if we can teleport past the um past the shrieker before it kills us. Hang on, we're gonna have to split you off the group or you're just gonna pull everyone into death. We await you. Join us. Okay, well I didn't think they could attack behind him, but apparently he can attack behind himself. But on the plus side, we got a waypoint. So that works. We can't get rid of the fucking Shrieker, but we're here. And unfortunately we're going to have to waste another Resurrection Scroll. Not thrilled about that. Not safe to rest here, obviously. Not good. Not good. Okay, he scares the shit out of me. We've got to find a Purging Wand. We gotta figure out a way to fuck get rid of that thing. Alright, let's keep exploring. See what else we can find. At least we can teleport out if we're desperate. That's an option we have. Hopefully we don't run into any more shriekers. I don't know, what was that? You tell me. What's this way? Well, there's so many ways to go. This looks like it heads back round to where we came from. Maybe another way in? Armored Voidling, Silent Watcher. Looks like they might be in combat with each other. I say we just watch this play out. Because I don't like either side. I'd rather watch them all die. Vampiric Voidwoken. Magister Grimmery. If in. Sneak in for a closer look. I want to see what's happening. Is the fight actually happening or are they just waiting for us to get here first? Okay, they are killing each other. Alright, let's just wait it out. Now I'll bring you back once two sides have finished killing each other. I'll be right back. 
Alright, looks like we're in battle by accident, so I guess we're in battle now. But we should try not to get too involved. If we can, we'll let the Magisters and that kill each other. They're strong, but they're not super strong. I didn't really want to get drawn into battle, but eventually they saw us while we were um, sneaking, so... And the Magisters are pretty much all dead anyway. It's like two left, these two up here. Other than that, they're all dead. We'll just kill the ones we have to kill. I'm not too worried about, like, trying to help the Magisters too much. Because, you know, you know my feelings on Magisters, they're fucking bastards. It's my personal opinion. Let's lay into this guy. I can't even afford to get too close, really. With the lightning ground and everything? Oh, I don't really want to have anything to do with that. I'm just going to stand here. Ifan, can you take a pot shot at him from here? Not quite. Might as well use tactical retreat, though. Then you get a haste boost as well. Nice, good damage. Not enough AP. That's cool. He's in courage. I don't really want either side to come out of this okay. I'd rather watch the Magisters die first. I'd rather fight the Voidwoken than the Magisters, to be <laughs> to be completely honest. I'm less worried about the Voidwoken than the Magisters. <gasps> don't come up here. Go kill that guy. I know we're killing your friend here, but he had it coming. He brought it on himself. How did you miss? He's literally lying on the floor. <laughs> he can't move. How the fuck did you miss? These guys are at least not hostile yet. They will be, but they're not yet. This guy's strong though. Master Grimory? Or Magister Grimory, whatever. He's strong as shit. I don't want to have to fight him. Do we have to stand in the lightning to hit him? I think we do. That's cool, we'll just help from the sidelines, eh? Help from the sidelines. Okay, you're dead. I say we just uh, sit back and relax now. Let them all kill each other. Yo, chill out. Let Magister Grimory do all the hard work. I'm sure he's got this. Oh, you idiot. You fell down. How are you going to kill Magister Grimory now? You're not. Avoid working a fucked. That's a shame. We have to kill the Magisters then. Maybe I could buff the Void working. And give him a heal. Did you have a heal on that void working? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just curious if this will work. Here. Get back up. <laughs> Kill those magisters for me. I'll yield to none. Thanks. <laughs> ah, you're never gonna kill the magisters, they're too strong. Yeah, he's dead. Dude, I tried healing you. The Magister wipes his blooded face with a grimy rag as he strides towards you. Eyes narrowing with suspicion, he halts several feet away, one hand on the hilt of his weapon. And you are... Your mum. Asshole. Twill and tell him you've been sent as entertainment for the troops. <laughs> Good thing I didn't bother cleaning my blade yet. See, this, this is why I tried to heal that void wagon. Because <laughs> you are a fucking asshole. At least there's only two of them left, I suppose. You're going to fucking pay, though. You fuck with us? 
We'll kill you later, Silent Watcher. I gotta deal with this prick first. Flurry into him. He's got a lot of magic hammer. Yeah, Losa, why don't you go deal with the Silent Watcher over there? Can you hit him? Not quite. See if you move up a little bit closer and then drop some shit on him. No? Nothing? Oh, there you go. That'll land him. No, it won't. Alright, wait there, Losa. Alright, knock the Magister down. As long as he's knocked down, he's no threat to us. We can just keep pummeling him. Fuck, man, you hit hard if now that you got good gear again. Fuck, I hate Magisters. I hate them so much. Let's go. Man, I wish everyone had that teleport skill. It's so good. So good. Oh, there was oil there? I didn't notice that. Not bad. Not bad. I wish he could teleport. That'd be fucking great. If I get you to there, have we ever got shield throw anyway? Yeah, never mind. What about a tentacle? That won't work, will it? No. Didn't think so. Alright, you start following Sabeel up then. No problem. It's all good. I'm ready. Good. Get a barrage out here. Good. Alright, it's his turn now. Holy fuck! Well, Irfan's dead. What the fuck? Irfan, you suck. Can you not die so easily all the time? It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Oh, Jesus. Now we're gonna waste a fucking thing getting him back up again. Come on, if he barely did anything. He's like, take a pop of pot shots. Oh, you're dead. Well, that was unimpressive. Did damage, though. Ice. Very good. Kill him. Now I'm quite annoyed that you let Irfan die. No, I'm quite annoyed Irfan that you let yourself die because you are a fucking piece of shit. No offense, but you're a piece of shit. Now, let's go check these bodies. I assume this is the tablet we're looking for? Well, at least I hope it's the tablet we're looking for. What is this, a gold cup? Sure, I'll take it. Look at the door. I love this cave. This cave is a great place to explore. What's up here? Oh fuck, we're not going that way yet. We got bodies to check first. There's Magisters, there's Void Woken. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's a good time to be an enemy of both. <laughs> Which we will always be. Dude, this is going well. <laughs> oh, I love looting your corpses. What's up there? A rat. Okay, we'll talk to you later, rat. Like, literally, because we can talk to rats. It's helpful, usually. The rats tend to have a lot of information that other people don't seem to have or are not willing to share. What do we got here? Unidentified helmet. Fireball. Fireball's not very useful. Excavation log. We got, like, three keys in this place so far. Crazy. Okay, so this is a finesse helmet. 34 and 52. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll equip that, and here you have this one. 
Some skill requirements have been unmemorized? Okay, whatever. Not bothered. We finally found it, the Atarian. A contingent of geists and whites immediately seized it and shipped it to Dallas. The overseers speak of medals of Lucian to be sent to us the all. Atarian. What an incredible discovery. The fuck is an Atarian? I don't know what that is. It doesn't sound good. Is that what this is? Oh, you can see the Hall of Echoes here. The pedestal seems empty, as if once supported something. Something powerful. He surmised that this was the resting place of the Aterran, until it was torn free and borne away. If this is what Dallas was looking for, then she has claimed her prize. Well, that's a problem. Well, there's the rat. Let's go talk to him. He's running away. Quick, get him! The little rat squeaks up at you inquisitively, beady little eyes full of something approximating intelligence. Are you a poet? Do you know it? Do I show it? I write a rhyme in my spare time. It's about a bird. But I need a word. But the bird is the word. Don't you know? Say that's just absurd. He eyes you shrewdly, then sniffs with judgment. Not what I was looking for. <laughs> Be like that then. Critical fucking bastard. Everyone's a critic, huh? The little rats. Are you a pup? I write Let's a see what else we got then. My spare time. It's about a bird. But I need a word. It's here as food. He eyes you shrewd. Not what I was. Ah. One of these must be right, surely. The little rat. Are you a pup? I write a rat. He eyes you shrewdly. Not what I was. Come here, rat. I'm not done with you. The little rats. Are you a I write a rhyme. He's a nerd. He eyes you. Not what I. The little rat. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Your heart is stirred. He eyes you shrewd. Not what I. Whoops. Okay, there's a fuckload of money in there, but we'll grab that in a second. The little rat. Are you a I write a rhyme in my spe Leave without a word. That's the best I can do. Arrows. Where was that money? Hundred bucks. There's a big potion right there. What is this? Lucky find. What is that? Eternal plate. I'm sure it would be a lucky find if I knew what the fuck it was, or what it was for. Which I don't know. Uh, repair hammer, I'll have that. We got some level ups even. This is like a broken tablet. Ancient Tome of the Eternals. The tablet seems to glow from within with a subtle light. Etched runes cover its surface. The markings feel familiar. But you have no idea what they mean. Reach out and touch the tablet. Your fingertips burn so hot, it feels like they are melting. An energy seems to travel between the tablet and your hands, sparking knowledge directly into your mind, as if you are reading with your fingers. Electrical sensations sizzle in your mind. You understand that the runes are ancient Rivalonian, the oldest known language. You feel the fragments under your fingers. An an lesru. You know not how. But you understand the meaning of these words with the very marrow of your being. One. One must rise. Then your fingers grow cold to the bone. Suddenly, you are just a person standing in a cavern, clinging to a stone tablet as if it were a life raft. If that was some kind of test, I'm really not sure whether I passed or failed. <laughs> Is that the one that Riker was looking for? We found some tablets in the caverns, though none seem very exceptional. We should continue looking. Okay. Shield. Armor potion. That's a tablet of the Eternals. If that's not special, what the fuck is? Oh, here we go. Eerie tablet. Another identifying glass. Always have enough of that. Can never have enough of those. The unusual tablet is marked on all sides with runic inscriptions that look like they were hacked into indecipherability with a chisel or similar instrument. As your fingertips trace these mutilated runes, your eyes flicker closed of their own accord. You see nothingness, 
vast, dark, and empty. Keep silent. You sense something ancient watching you, perusing you like a prison guard would watch a wayward ant scuttling across the floor of a cell. From within the endless emptiness, a voice hums into being and calls to you. God woken. You sense an interest within the cold voice addressing you. Beyond the interest, you sense fangs, voracious hunger, a bottomless appetite that no sustenance could ever sate. I'm getting scared now. You see your life flash before your eyes, every memory flitting by like a moth's wings at a lantern. The vision reaches the present moment and diverges into multiple strands, impossible to keep track of. Your brain aches with the effort of trying to keep up with the intelligence as it sifts through your every potential future. You see salvation and destruction and every shade of existence in between. And all of a sudden, it's over. Blackness rises once more, just as it was at the start. Eternal darkness and you. An electric feeling pulses in your fingertips and a force field of some kind pushes you away from the tablet. That was the midnight oil. A strange tablet covered in ruins. When we touched it, we experienced the sensation of being in a dark, endless void. What was that place? Don't know, but we've got a lot more cave to explore, actually. We probably should do this level up. Shovel. There's a lot of tablets around, but it looks like they've all been smashed. Which is pretty fucking rude to be going around smashing eternal tablets and stuff. Alright, let's uh, do our level ups quickly. What have we got? Let's beef strength up a little bit. Uh, Perseverance might be worth having. That seems like a pretty good ability. Well, I like damage as well, but recovering your armor and stuff, that's pretty good. Oh, I don't know. Uh, put another one into single-handed, and we get to pick one of these. <gasps> nice. What do we get? What a rush, walk it off, unstable, torturer. What do we got? One of these must be awesome that we need. The wielding, that's no use. Mnemonic, that'll be good for our mage still. Living armor. Adds 35% of all healing you receive by skills or consumables to your magic armor. That could be useful. Especially since he's got necromancer, which means his normal attacks recover health. Bleach heals you while you're standing in blood. That could be good too. Yeah. But living armor could be good, so really good. Yeah, maybe we'll go uh, leech. Seeing he is a melee attacker, he's always standing in blood, pretty much. All right, I think we're gonna put. Kind of want to put. How much is his health? Eight hundred sixty-nine. That's not too bad. I kind of want to put one more into wits. And another one into finesse. Something like that. I'm gonna drop a point into warfare, I suppose. And then he gets one of these as well. That's great. Are these guys still level 12, they are, so they'll get one in the next level as well. Alright, if and what can you have then? The executioner might be good for you. Arrow recovery, I don't really use the arrows much. Let's you evade attacks of opportunity. Elemental affinity is no use for you. Um, well, I don't really know what you, what would be good for you. Opportunist? I don't know how that would work with an archer. Be able to use that anytime. Extra vitality, three percent for every point of warfare. Eh. Increases your increases your recovery and maximum action points by one when your health is below 50%. That's pretty good too. I might give him execution though, because he does do a lot of killing shots. Because he does tend to do the most damage, generally. So he tends to pull off the killing blows most regularly. Thought we haven't checked this armored voidling yet. I thought we checked all the bodies, but I guess not. 
Yeah. Disappointing. We got a few keys, so maybe we could open some of these doors. Yep. That's one door. <clears throat> Journal. That could be good. Since when do you have fucking telekinesis? I don't like it here. I don't like it here at all. There's something humming. Some fell thing. Something that claws around the edge of my senses, worming its way in. Today I saw a glowing blue light and it spoke to me. I turned to tell my friend. And for some reason there was shit on the top of that. And he was naught but glowing light too. And when I screamed he laughed. A laugh. A laugh. A laugh so hollow and black I thought it was the end. I wish it were the end. Scary. Ooh, stuff. Elegant ring. Source orb. <gasps> Whoa, tier 5 rune? Massive cleanse one. Holy crap, that's powerful. Wow. Dude. That's pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm just reeling from how great that is. Alright, this looks like there's nothing else here. Might be time to check out some of the other areas down here. Oh look, there's a fucking chest and stuff up here. <gasps> sauce? I love sauce. Tomato sauce? Alright, what do we got here? Overseer's chest. Locked. Well, that's a bunch of fucking dicks, isn't it? We don't even have any lockpicks, I don't think. Do we? Let's have a quick look. I don't think we do, though. No. Parchment? The Path of the Pilgrimage. Okay, so that's just a blank piece of paper. That's cool. We got three keys and yet we don't have a key for that. Oh well. Guess we'll need the source. The stone relic pulls on your consciousness. You feel the tendrils of an ancient hunger trespassing within your soul, seeking something, something you have. Source. Reach out your hand and touch the relic. As your fingertips brush the cool stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic, yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power, a different power. A sharp electrical shock repels your hands from the stone and sends you staggering backwards. Of the shapeshifter. That's something I want to craft and fast. Ah, oh, they were recipes. Well, no wonder I couldn't see it in my inventory. It was a recipe. Now we know. What is this? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, chest. What's this? I found something. It is a door. All right, cool. All right, we head back this way. I actually don't know where we're going now. Have we explored this entire area? Let's just check our map. No, we have not. Very much not. Oh yeah, we need to go up this way. All right, that's next then. Can I just activate that? This source orb can be used to gain a source point or used in place of a rune in your equipment. Well, I wouldn't use it to use a fucking source point. What a waste. Jesus. I'm an idiot, but I'm not that much of an idiot. Jesus. Alright, so this armor that we got. Where is the armor? There. Armor of the Eternals. What do you need to make that? The Eternal Plate. Ha! Huh. And the source orb. Doesn't actually tell you how good it is. What its stats are or anything. Interesting. Well, that's why he was so happy we found that eternal plate then. The mask of the shapeshift we've already got. Up to no good, no doubt. Holy shit in Christ, that's a lot of magisters. Well, you know they're going to be hostile. None of them have names though, not a single one. 
possess black ring reavers so they're taking over the black rings white magis white magister and a magister knight weaponized monks so this is like a black ring hideout and they came in and just took them over possessed them well yeah i was thinking that one damn spark in this whole place will go that's what i was thinking just detonate this fucking place but i think whoa no, we're so close to you right now. I think we'll probably wrap this episode up and we'll encounter these fools in the next one. They're level 13. I think we should be able to cope. To be honest, I think we'll cope. Especially if we're sneaky and detonate some of these first. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.